Hebrews chapter 10, 26 to 27 says, If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sin is left, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. Homosexuality is one of the sins that is most annoying to God because it transforms man from his dominating and loving position described in the book of Genesis chapter 1 verse 26 into a beast that does not have a rational thinking. God created man and woman in his image so that they can know each other in a legal marital bond and procreate in order to reveal his glory. But demonic agents have abused this natural order for their selfish aims, but there is judgment. Hebrews chapter 10, 26 to 27 says, If we deliberately keep on sinning after we have the knowledge of the truth, no sacrifice for sin is left, but a fearful expectation of judgment and a raging fire that will consume the enemies of God. This demonic act becomes even more painful when it involves the underaged. This boy in Berenui Nzedinui is only 14 years old and has been in homosexuality for three years, which means that he entered or got initiated at the age of 11. God have mercy. God have mercy. Listen to his pathetic testimony. So, what have you been seeing? What have you been doing? I was, I was, I was in class three in Bangso, and Amanda was, was lame and was walking in the, in the ground with that. And I, and I, Amanda sent me to go and, to go and buy something from the road. And the man called me that I should come to his house. And I came to his house, and the man said that I should. The man introduced you into homosexual. How did he do with you? He, he, he took his, 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 his penis and put it inside my head. Don't lie to He took his penis and put it inside my head. That's how he did with you. Yeah. He has done that how many times with you? Since that time, I, I was just being in the bed and, I, and, and he ran away from the from near my house where, where he was. There. So you yourself, you have been doing it to some people. I've, the, I've done it to, to children, but it, so I mean, there are not many children. You have done it to some children. How many children? Like three or four children. I see how old it is. How old are you? Fourteen years old. Homosexual 14 years. Those highly placed personalities that are initiating innocent children into homosexuality should repent before the anger of God falls upon them. Because the Bible says in the book of Romans chapter 6 verse 23, the reward of sin is death. Anyone who is practicing this act should desist from it because the end is disastrous both physically and spiritually. Physically, homosexual victims end up with anus cancers, chronic intestinal infections, and anal canal disorders. Spiritually, you are a candidate for hell fire. There are also social and psychological problems. Listen to the testimony of this homosexual. I you, always meet with men. You always meet with men? Yes. How many men are you, have you met with? I cannot count. Yeah, like how many? Like how many? Let me see. Look, I cannot remember their name. Like how many? Let me see, like 50. Like 50? Yes, because because of the things it makes me to travel most. I have nearly to be nearly half of this uh, my country because when I, my, my parents, they are in Moyoka. 
So because of this case, they have they are, they are noticed me in Moyoka. So I have to leave Moyoka to different places. The same in the very place they have noticed me, I have to leave the place to another place. The same of the thing, they have to leave the place to another place because they have noticed me everywhere. So anywhere you are, yes. when you perform the act of homosexuality, yes. they notice you, yes. you can almost stay there again. Yes. Oh, it's a spirit that is in you. He cannot stay in one place for long. What he is practicing is out of accepted norms. That's why when he lives in one town and he is discovered, he leaves the town to yet another, and when he is discovered, he leaves to yet another. Oh, what a life! Homosexuality is practiced in most of our universities. You see young boys driving luxurious cars with very strong perfumes that they have worn on their bodies to quench the pungent and irritating smell that is coming from their downer bodies after having been perforated by the act of homosexuality. What a life! God have mercy! Come here! Do here! Thank God for his grace of repentance on Mberinui, who has now come to Kingship International Ministries and has received his deliverance. Remember, the book of Romans 6.23 says, The reward of sin is death. God is watching.